tight strap in and hold on to your hats round two of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season is underway in Kazan Monaco's first possession first touch of a EuroLeague basketball for Rob Gray and Jusic who did shoot the lights out last week picks up right where he left off Tonya Jakiri coming out to the perimeter handing off and they create space on the outside for the three-point shot that goes for the three-time champion Boran Savic. Here's Mario Hezonja. Such an elite set of all-round scoring skills. Misses his second shot, though. Back out it goes. Boran Savic, little fake, steps to the side. Three-point shot. Got it! So there's a lot of time left here in the first. And the shot knocked down again by Andrew. Lorenzo Brown looking to dance with the defense, taking on Paris Lee, creating the separation and knocking down the shot. They blocks off the passing lane. Lorenzo Brown pinched back by the pickpocket Rob Gray. Little Euro step into the lane and he got the floater to fall. Boran Savic, who's got six of Unix, eight points so far. Lorenzo Brown trapped by Paris Lee, bounce pass to Jakiri, forced away by the presence of Mote Junas, but finds a lovely pass. And Dmitry Uzinski bursting down the baseline, explodes to the basket. And Jusic working with Mote Junas on the far side. Gray little jab step taking on Hezonia. Two elite scorers, hand in his face, doesn't matter. Rob Gray hits the shot. Boran Savic. Hezonja lost it and the lane opens up and Andrusic will take the simple score after doing all the hard work on the defensive end. To Gray with the shot clock winding down, he's not too aware I don't think and the passing lane blocked off, Lorenzo Brown slices through to score. Turning and taking the contested mid-range jump shot and in transition getting in behind Jakiri. James to Andrusic. Two real sharpshooters in the backcourt for Monaco. And Jusic showing he can get inside as well, meandering through the defence and scoring again. Eight perfect points. Just the one shot from him so far in three and a half minutes on court. Wants to take on the defence here, into the lane and shows what he can do. Isaiah Cannon, shot clock to seven here as he goes around the high screen of Brown. Puts it up just off the elbow and scores Isaiah Cannon's first points of the ball game. Here's Mike James. Pass inside to Dante Hall, who gets his first basket of the evening. John looking to win interference on the perimeter, comes out to set the screen again for Cannon. Here's Lorenzo Brown again, into John Brown. Lovely ball movement from Unix Kazan, and the triple knocked down by Jarrell Bradley. It's a potent cocktail on offense. Motum. Taking on the three right over the top of Bradley and knocking it down. What an introduction to the game for Brock Moton. Here's Mike James. Looking to show off the handles again. Steps back, creates a bit of room and gets his geometry spot on. Directing traffic from deep. Isaiah Cannon peels off to the wing. Spisu again. Bounce pass into Brown. Switches the shot and scores. John Brown, such a tenacious player at both ends of the floor. But Unix survive. And they survived that scare as well. As they lost the ball, not once but twice. And they get a chance to make it third time lucky. And Marco Spisu obliges. Here's Lorenzo Brown as Unix look to tie level, maybe even take the lead. Home fans getting behind them here in Russia. And it's John Brown with a long two and from seven down their level. The team from the Riviera. Corner three, Vesterman got it. Monaco back ahead as these two continue to trade blows. Run interference, it comes to Paris Lee instead. Hall comes back out for the screen. And hung up to Hall, who brings their house down. Brown to Brown, and says Onya moves it on to Jabanov, who's in for the first time. Bounce pass to John Brown from Boric Savic. Bullish play. Again on the edge of the paint from John Brown. Spin move towards the baseline, misses his second shot of the game, and Dante Hall with the defensive rebound. Quarterback pass down the floor. Mario Hezonja gets back for the rejection. Look at the chase back from Hezonja. Tara thought he had the easy layup. 
As Onya said, not in my house. It's not really what his game is about. And here he is on the offensive end, step to the side, three-point shot, can't nail it. Lorenzo Brown, though, shows his muscle, grabs the rebound and scores as Unix closed the gap to three. Grit and determination on the defensive end to try and get started perhaps now on the offensive end. Lorenzo Brown, three-point shot off the crossover, got it. Now he's at Monaco. They're really looking to shake it up in the EuroLeague. Bounce pass and Jusic. Here goes Lorenzo Brown again. Passes outside, said touch pass. Isaiah Cannon locked and loaded and dropping a cannonball on Monaco. He's one of just two players to stay at Monaco from their triumph in the Euro Cup last season, along with Rob Gray. Isaiah Cannon blocked off by Gray. Step to the side, three-point shot misses. It's in the hands of the teenager here, and they have to heave it from near centre court, and it goes! What a way to announce yourself on the EuroLeague scene. He's only been on for a minute, and he does that. A moment of Monaco magic from a talented teenager. Lorenzo Brown on the offensive end now. Orange Savic steps into the elbow, back out to Brown. Plenty of time left on the shot clock. Here's Hezonia looking for his first field goal. On the run, got it, Mario Hezonia. Mike James looking to take on Jakiri, who's been pulled out to the perimeter. James into traffic again, can't force it home. Rebound grabbed by Dante Hall, who tries to tear the rim off. Explosive from the young American centre. Hezonia takes it from the elbow, long two, and drills it. On the boards to no avail. Mike James lost the handle on it, trying to cross over at centre court. Zaitsev, three on two here for Unix. Jakiri on the trail, puts it in. Mario Hezonia spins towards the baseline, trying to bounce pass back to Jakiri. Here comes Gray in transition now, gets away at centre court from Boric Savic. Forced on the free man running the floor again, as we saw in the first half. With great diligence is Jerry Buzzielli. As they were as they traded blows in the Euro Cup finals last season. Lorenzo Brown, little push shot floater from close range. Jakiri able to grab the rebound. Here's Hezonia for three. Nothing but net for Mario Hezonia. After hitting his first two shots in the Euro League, Rob Gray has missed his last two. Lorenzo Brown from the strike, knocks it down, double digits for him. 11 points to lead all scorers. But he's challenged by Rob Gray, who got back and did just about enough. Mike James looking to bump bodies and go coast to coast and scores. Disappointed there's no call. Monaco make it a three-point game again. John Brown free on the perimeter, passes up the responsibility to Cannon, gets it back inside under the basket. Paris Lee keeps hold of the ball, shakes off the defence but misses the shot. And almost picked off, and it was. Excellent save by Rob Gray. Far side, Paris Lee from the perimeter. Mike James in the corner, can't get payback on Cannon. And Jakiri rips down the rebound. Here's Isaiah Cannon in transition. Got it. Unix up by eight. Largest lead of the game right at the end of the third quarter in the EuroLeague through several years. Brock Moten, a little floater, running into the lane for him, trying to grab his own rebound, does, second bite of the cherry, got it. Those breaks absolutely vital for Monica. Spisu suffocated near side, found a way out, laser beam pass inside, and Tonye, the tower of power in the paint, throws it down. James to Andjusic, still hasn't scored since the first quarter when he was electric, Danilo Andjusic. will try and get going again here, hangs it up, and Dante Hall throws it down. A cracker in Kazan. Brown wants it and gets it, wants to take on Andjusic. Quick spin move, and Dante Hall claws it out of the sky. After the huge offensive play, the big defensive rejection, leading to the transition offence and the points for Motum. Unix by four. Vesterman. A game high five assists so far for him. He wants to take on the shot this time, though. Excellent offense rolling to the baseline. And 
Monaco here could look to get level from eight down or maybe even take the lead with a three. Vesterman against Saitsev, he's in the mood right now. Tough shot, Leo Vesterman with the Houdini move, getting out of trouble and converting. And Zonia doing it the other way around, gets it back here from Cannon. Into the final six minutes, Mario has Zonia for three, got it! Runic's back ahead off their eighth three of the game. Two of them from Hezonia. Mike James got that one from the French Riviera. Mike James again taking on Zaitsev to the far side. Moton reels it in down the baseline. Dante Hall squeezes it home. And now Monaco lead. Lorenzo Brown. Lawrence Savic looking for John Brown, uses him as a decoy and knocks down the shot himself. Mike James wants to take on everybody. Draws the attention of the defence like moths to a flame, dishes off for Motum to do the rest. As we enter the final three minutes, Monaco lead by two. Mike James in the mood, getting past Cannon, dishing off Dante Hall, bullying his way down the baseline, but Vorant Savic rejected him against the backboard. Cannon in transition, he's fell. Vorant Savic threatens the three, gets inside, past the defence, can't convert. John Brown on the boards, no. Vorant Savic again, got it. Unix pouring in everything they have for the points. Organising from the far side, Mike James could still have the final say, gets into the lane. It's Lee for three, he got it, and Monaco lead in the final two minutes. Could they suffer the same fate in round two? Zaitsev on the bounce towards the basket, back to Brown, can he get them ahead? Yes, he can. Mike James, Monaco now down one. Vesterman, three-point shot, close out late, can't convert, but Dante Hall can. Zaitsev to get it in from the baseline. Straight into the hands of Hezonia, who contorts his body to score from underneath the basket. 15 second half points for Hezonia, Unix ahead by one. Final 30 seconds, Mike James on the three, in and out. Isaiah Cannon looking for his Onya. The big summer signing. Looking to finish off Monaco here. Threading the eye of the needle. Cannon, did he get it away in time? No. And this is James' first trip to the line. The first for the tie, the second for the lead. Not feeling the pressure at all at the moment. One of the continent's best scorers. Mike James misses, grabs his rebound. The floater for the win. No. And we are going to overtime at Basket Hall. One of their biggest offensive weapons. Shot clock down to four. John Brown is going to take it himself. The defence allowed him to shoot and he made them pay. Three and a half to play. Unix land the first blow of overtime. Mike James looking to shake off the disappointment of that foul shot. Lorenzo Brown. Edging his way inside, he got there, going around the back of Dante Hall. Mike James waves everybody away, wants to go one-on-one -on -one here. Two of the top players in this competition, James and Hezonia. It's James, got it! Looking to show that immense ability and confidence once more against Hezonia. Shifts it on this time, Paris Lee, deep three! The biggest moment of his EuroLeague career so far. Spisu had the three-point shot stopped. And here comes Mike James building up ahead of Steam, going all the way! And Dante Hall delivers the knockout blow, just as they did in last season's Euro Cup Finals. Surely that is that now. The rejection from Alpha Diallo. Impressive EuroLeague debutant Dante Hall. Lawrence Savic for three to keep Unix alive, no. Mike James the rebound. Just trying to dig the dagger in a bit deeper. Is on you. He can travel at pace and go coast to coast, slicing through. They need a turnover, a steal. They don't get it. Diallo races into the open floor, misses the shot. Only a few seconds taken off the clock, though. Hezonia looking to travel again into the... 
to this wonderful ball game. It has been an almighty basketball battle between these two old rivals. But Monaco, as they did in the Euro Cup finals last season, come out on top again. It has been an almighty basketball battle between these two old rivals. But Monaco, as they did in the Euro Cup finals last season, come out on top again.